Yeah, I'm kind of late on doing this because I was making lunch. So yeah, let's react to this. Turns out my dumbass uh, forgot to turn down the volume on OBS while I was recording this. So we're losing about three minutes of uh, stuff. So basically I enjoyed like the mask DLC for Pokemon and... Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm not really into the other DLC, but I don't know. We'll wait. But yeah, it shows like a few Pokemon that weren't in the base game and all that. But yeah, I'm just here to fill you in on uh, what just happened and why I'm talking here and it's not just me reacting to something. So yeah, I hope this clears up. On OBS. But yeah, they're just explaining the trailer. We we really don't don't need this explained, guys. We we already know what's up. I'm gonna turn up my uh, computer volume because I had it low. Oh, we got shiny gold, gold boy. It's a supersonic squad of superstars. Sonic and friends are spin dashing into a brand new. Pretty sure we already kind of saw bits of this game because trailers were pretty much everywhere for this game. We got Sonic, we got Tails, we got Knuckles, we got Amy. We already know this. What does Amy have as a special? Just double jump, pretty much? Interesting uh, special zones. Oh, I guess they're playing around with, like, Going back and forth in a 3D thing as a whatever. <laughs> Where you can jump back in the background or jump into the foreground type of shit. Of course we got Eggman. Huh, nothing after that, okay. I, I don't really like how this looks. This reminds me of like Xbox 360 game cutscenes, but I guess a full game that looks like it. Eh. I, I don't think this game is my cup of tea. That shit. Like I said before, I have food with me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this game is going to be in my interest, fellas, I'm going to be honest. This game is definitely, like... It looks alright, I guess. I just don't see myself playing it. Oh, is this another Persona Q game? Oh, it kind of seems like Fire Emblem-ish type thing. I haven't played Q yet, but I do have it. So yeah, this is just basically Persona Fire Emblem. Essentially. Yeah, I'm not sure about this game. I don't really like Fire Emblem in general, because it never 
piqued my interest. So this game might just be the same. Oh, I guess this is a... Uh... This might be just like... Skyrim-ish. Yeah, I'm just thinking this might just be... Like Skyrim. Due to the first person type shit. Oh, maybe it's more like a dungeon crawler mixed in with Skyrim type of first person controls. New Splatfest because obviously there's going to be a new Splatfest. When is there not a new Splatfest, am I right? <laughs> Black time, baby. Probably strawberry or mint chip, in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, probably like all the way back in the stream because, you know, I was kind of late due to cooking. Oh, here's the Pokemon. Going to guess Detective Pikachu because this feels like Detective Pikachu. Yeah, this is Detective Pikachu, okay. I wonder if this is just a remake of the other games on the 3DS or just its own thing. Who knows, it might just be a remake of the Detective Pikachu games. And there's Mewtwo. Sorry if I'm kind of moving the screen around. I'm just trying to figure out how I like it. So yeah. So it is a new game, I guess. Wyverless fights a liar. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> he is though. Mario RPG, I assume that's going to be on the fucking Nintendo whatever. The Nintendo Online thing. So that's going to be cool, people. Oh, it's a fucking re It's a remake, holy shit! It, it's a fucking remake, boys! The, that's right. God has frozen over hell. Hell is now frozen. This is the game nobody expected, not even me, because, you know, a bunch of Lego mumbo-jumbo type shit. That is crazy.
This is the game nobody would expect because Square Enix did all that. But there we go! Mario RPG Remake, baby! Let's go. This is epic. This is an epic gamer moment, fellas. Wait, does this mean... We can have Geno in other Mario games now? I, I don't know. If it does, that would be, like, the best. Well, holy shit. Nobody would be fucking expected this. At all. Yet, yeah, here, here we are. Here we are. We, we have this. Now. This is a reality. God damn. If we can have this, we can have a good Pokemon game. Let's go, baby! Mario RPG! <laughs> You're probably thinking, why am I excited? I never played this game, I always fucking wanted to. I didn't have, like, a real official way to play it, let's just say. But now, now I do. What's this? That's right. Princess Peach will star as the main character in a brand new game. Oh, another new game with Peach? That's all we'll show for now. Okay, I guess we're getting another Peach-based game in the Mario series. Her second game. Luigi Mansion Remake. Okay. Okay, we got Dark Moon. All we need to do is get Luigi's Mansion from the GameCube on the Switch. And then every everything will be on the switch, basically. <laughs> like goddamn, I'm I wasn't expecting any of this. I I I'm just hyped. Okay, we got we got Thumbs Ultimate Protector. Never heard of this game. I don't really play Batman type games. Unless it's Lego. Okay, we get we get into some bosses. Wonder who could be saying that. I don't remember any of the characters that have that voice. Okay, there's Joker. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to edit this video due to, like, the silence. Or I have to, like, stop to get the door. All DLC? Okay. Yeah, I guess you Batman fans will probably enjoy yourselves with this being on the Switch. I won't because I'm not really a fan of comics. I do dabble in it a little bit, but I'm just not like a complete fan of DC or Marvel. Play your cards right. That sounds like an interesting title. Yeah, I, I don't see myself playing this either. This video will probably go up pretty late. Dance party. 
Just that, I assume I have to mute this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just muting this so, you know, we don't get any type of strikes involved with the music with this. <laughs> don't want that happening. But yeah, I assume it's just just dance. They release one every fucking year, even for the Wii. I think they still do it for the Wii. <laughs> I think the last Wii one was like twenty nineteen. I'm not too sure. But apparently, they still make games for the Wii. So yeah, we get flashy colors, we get songs, we get songs, we get songs, and of course there's pay. Okay, we can turn on this now. This game looks pretty interesting. Oh yeah, it's a dungeon crawler. But I do like the style of this. The style looks insane. It really hits hard. And then there's like a resource thing. Pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like this game is going to be a pretty decent game. Damn, these cutscenes are going hard though. <laughs> Like, goddamn, look how hard these cutscenes are. Oh? Eh, I'm not much of a farming gamer. Yeah, I think this game is more farm than my type of style. <laughs> I doubt many people are going to play this. I don't know, I could be wrong. But I just don't see me and my friends playing this. No, oh, we got this Hot Wheels game. Yeah, I assume it's just gonna be most of that. But it looks really cool, though. Call me a child, but I think... I think this is pretty cool. Especially if you can, like... Make tracks with certain tricks, like... Oh, you can jump all the way down to the last road part. Oh yeah, this seems like a chaotic game I see friends playing. This seems like a mini game from Mario Party. <laughs> the good Mario Parties, not the bad one. I wouldn't pre-order this game though. This game is still alive. That is a surprise. Okay, so pretty much a lot of quote unquote new stuff. Oh, there's King Bomb Bomb right there, boys. I'm surprised this game is still alive. I thought it would be dead, like, after the game releases and after everybody played it. 
Yokai Watch. This is Yokai Watch. I'm calling it now. Because I feel like that style kind of is Yokai Watch ish. I could be wrong though. Oh, maybe it's Drake Quest actually. I haven't thought about Drake Quest. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think of that until, like, later. Because... I'm just looking at my yokai fucking plush thing. And just looked at it and just said, yeah, that, that, that's the style. So, yeah, I'm wrong, this is Drake in Quest. Hmm. More Dragon Quest, I see. Sort of a weird fake out, but okay. Plants vs. Zombies, maybe. Nah, it's Pikmin 4. <laughs> I was thinking Plants vs. Zombies because that's what I associate with, like, zombie monsters and plants. But this also makes sense because, you know, they've been talking about Pikmin 4 on Twitter, on the official Twitter, I believe. Yeah, this, this makes more sense. It would be interesting if he got a uh, monsters versus plants thing. Or zombies versus plants. That'd be a interesting thing. But nah, it's just Pikmin 4. I don't think I have ever played a Pikmin the game. Ever. Okay, okay, we get it. New mechanic, new thing. Jeez, my foot's getting fucking numb. Oh, we got we got the reference, guys. We we have references in this game. I mean, it's Pikmin. Of course, we're gonna have references to Nintendo. Oh, there's the underground. Okay. Nintendo seems to like underground areas lately. I think everybody's seen that trend. I don't know, I could be the only one, but I don't think I am. Oh damn, they're, they're gonna do the thing. Oh, I assume that's going to be like a rival or something you attract. Oh yeah, it just... It's a multiplayer thing, I guess. But it could also be like a rival's thing. Because if they added some r rivals in Pikmin, that. I don't think they did that before. That'd be an interesting thing to see. Yeah, this reminds me of uh, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> and then we get glowy Pikmin. Pikmin 
Pikmin creatures are so weird. And we get this house area, so I assume we're just very small. Rock Pikmin are back. That means probably every other Pikmin is back in this game. Oh, what else could be? Oh yeah, po Pikmin. Go Never mind. I was expecting them to talk about Pikmin Go again, but no, we get Pikmin One and Two, and a demo. Huh. This direct is full of surprises, and also not surprises because you know Just Dance is in this direct. Are we getting a remake of, uh, of Metal Gear? Oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully this isn't a cloud version. If this is a cloud version, that is... Why? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Get those Metal Gear games, boys. Even the bad ones. We're getting bad Metal Gear games and the better Metal Gear games. Interesting. Graphic novel. Alright. Never would have guessed this. Huh. This is a very surprising direct. We get Mario RPG, we get some uh, Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, Pikmin, and now Metal Gear, and I'm going to assume this is like, never mind, I thought it was Castlevania, but this is also surprising. Oh, dang, my, my leg's fucking numbing out on me. God damn. But yeah, th this game... I feel like this game would be enjoyable to people that like to suffer. They, this reminds me of just like any bullet hell type game. Because I feel like this game gets very chaotic. Just gotta hope the Nintendo Switch can uh, survive this game. God damn it, of course I made a pun. Oh, it's just like a weird rhythm game, I guess? It almost looks like Fall Guys. We got Simon Says. Piano Keys. So yeah, this is Rhythm Fall Guys. That's pretty much the nutshell of it. Kind of weird. This game looks goofy. 
at the same time, it looks like a pretty good platformer. Oh god, of course they do that. Yeah, this this game looks like old school kind of kind of weird. The old school platformer. Okay, wave five is here, baby. Let's see, do we get another character? Last time we got Bar Birdo. Are we gonna get Mario Kart Dull? Mario Kart GameCube uh, Rainbow Road. Oh, called it. Called that. I said this character was going to be here. Yeah, I guess Wiggler makes sense. Did he just say combat? That's what it sounded like to me. Already like bought all the waves, so I'm good. Never played Star Ocean. I think I like this style, like the pixel and the kind of realistic looking style. I feel like this is just like a very good look. Oh, two stories. That's pretty cool. I'm going to get out of the room for a second. Guess we got new warrior wear. <laughs> this is going to be a bad game because it uses Joy Cons. <sighs> I had to run over here, but yeah, if your game uses a Joy Con, it's just going to be bad with the controls. Sorry to say it, guys. The Joy Cons are pretty fucking awful. <laughs> oh, God. Of course, they're going to explain the game, even though we already saw the trailer. Okay, Nintendo Live event. Very cool. I know I'll never be in these. Kind of sad to admit, but it is true. I assume this will be like a fun thing for people that can go to do. <laughs> Pit versus Gandorf. 
Yeah, we're just seeing some background of, I believe, characters people don't use. I think people don't use most of the characters that we're playing in the background. Oh, Tears of the Kingdom stuff, okay, very cool. Oh, they're just saying thanks, okay. Yeah, we, we already know about the Amiibos. Oh, more Amiibos. I am honestly surprised they're making more Amiibos. Okay, what is it? We got a Mario thing. Is it Mario Maker? Nah, it seems like a new Mario style. Okay! I'm vibing with this. Is it Mario in a new land? A new Mario land, perhaps? Just kidding. But if they were to name this, I feel like they should name it something like New Mario World. Another power up? Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, it, it kind of makes stuff go crazy. And I assume coins are replaced with those uh, purple things. A lot more goofy stuff is happening in this game, okay. This truly is the goofiest Mario game and I love it. I love how goofy this is. Wonder Seed? Wonder what that's gonna do. Oh! Mario Bros. Wonder. Or Wonder. Whatever. This game looks amazing though, like god damn. They have Daisy as a playable character, boys! We finally did it! Daisy is in here! Luigi Toad. Okay. Uh, I assume this is just going to be like, they discover a new land. Oh, okay, Mario got the moves here, alright, okay. They got some insane enemies, I guess. Is this like a parallel universe? What the fuck? This is, this is just crazy, man. Holy shit. I'm excited for this game because we never had a Super Mario Bros. game like this one. God damn! <laughs> okay, what, what's gonna happen here? We got this weird dragon looking fruit. Never mind, it's an elephant. <laughs> and we got these flowers that talk. Don't know what that's about. <laughs> this is crazy. God, I, I hope that game turns out good. It already looks pretty fucking decent compared to, you know, modern Super Mario Bros. games. But Jesus, that was fucking insane. What the fuck? Like, god damn, dude. Dude, I, I just want to play that game already. That game is just... Out of this world. That game is insane. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I gotta fucking edit this and uh, upload it.